Hey, what's up? I'm gonna spend a minute talking about coach health. You know, we do throw a lot of things out there about how to stay fresh, how to stay on top of our game as coaches. And we think it's really important because the, the better I can take care of myself, you know, the better product I'm gonna put out on the, on the field, on the court. Okay, I'm gonna be able to provide better instructions. I'm gonna move around, maybe be able to see things a little bit better. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the product I create, whether it's a task, whether it's the environment, whether it's feedback, that plays uh, a direct role in how our athletes are gonna be developing. So think about all these things when we're thinking about taking care of, care of ourselves. Today, I wanna dig into uh, a, a force velocity curve. Now, when we think about training athletes, we think about this quite a bit when we're thinking about uh, exercise selection, uh, goals over a training block, um, a month, multiple months, but we can think about this too within our own training. And I do wanna think about coach training, it being training over simply working out because training has a direction, it has a goal. And what we're trying to do here is to really try to impact our personal health. So going back to this force velocity curve, you can see on the vertical axis is true force. On the horizontal is velocity or speed with a direction. Something that exists on this side of the curve here could be an exercise, let's just say, uh, that we are really trying to create as much force as possible. Not super interested in just the speed component, although I wanna really try to be intentional with moving the bar quickly, but things like deadlifts, like squats, like presses may exist here, okay? Heavier weight, I'm exerting, trying to create as much force as I can on that object. And these exercises are not the only thing, they're simply an, an example, okay? On the opposite side would be speed, okay? Things on this side, I'm not, I don't have enough time to produce as much force here, but subsequently, they're gonna be a lot faster. Things here could be jumps, sprints, throws, or any type of variation like that. Minimal resistance, I'm not creating a ton of force, but they're going very, very fast, okay? In the middle, okay, is power, and that's kind of the combination of the two. Things that exist somewhere through there could be a little bit heavier throws, could be your Olympic lifts, it could be any type of jump that's loaded pretty heavily or from, from altitude, okay? So one thing what we'd like to do as coaches, and when we think about our training plan, remember, training plan, we're going in a direction, and a direction has a plan. Okay, so when I'm thinking about my plan as a coach over the summer, over the off season, or even in the end season, we wanna have a plan. Where on this force velocity curve am I spending my week? Okay, where am I spending my day? Am I spending it a little bit more toward the speed side? Or am I spending it more toward the force side? Or am I sprinkling a little bit in? You know, if you think about it over, let's just say a month, you could spend a couple weeks at different areas of this chart and the, of this graph, and it's really gonna create um, the ability to produce force and speed in a lot of different directions. At the end of the day, this can kind of help us think about how we're creating our own training uh, experiences. I want to be intentional when I train. It doesn't have to be you know, super, super heavy lifts all the time. It doesn't have to be running and sprinting all the time, but I do think it needs to be a little bit of this sprinkled in. Hope everybody's doing great. Just some ideas about coach health. Remember, the more I can take care of myself, the better I can take care of our athletes. Okay, Think about coach health every single day, and it will really drive our performance. Take care.